Hello everybody, it's Victor from Cardiac Wire, and today we have a very special interview here at AHA 2025. I'm joined by Dr. Roshan Modi from Wild Cornell Medical Center, and he's been a contributor here with Cardiac Wire for the last three years. He's been working on some really special research in the ECMO space, and he's going to tell us about it today. With that, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit and the research you've been doing. Yeah, thanks Victor. Um, so, uh, my name is Roshan. I am a internal medicine resident at Wild Cornell. Um, I've been involved in cardiology for a while. Um, since going back to my undergrad days. Um, the research and study that we did that I'm presenting here at AHA is uh, a study looking at um, ECMO plus CPR for uh, cardiac arrest patients. Um, there's some data on uh, ECMO and its use for patients who suffer a cardiac arrest out of the hospital, but um, this is one of the first studies that's actually comparing in hospital versus out of hospital cardiac arrest and the use of ECMO plus CPR uh, for these patients. Um, we found that uh, patients who uh, receive eCPR um, and have had suffered an out of hospital cardiac arrest, um, they, these were patients who had lower uh, mortality than patients who had suffered an in hospital cardiac arrest uh, and received uh, eCPR. Interesting. Could you tell me a little bit about what was the rationale behind having a study like this? Why did you guys decide to go with this topic? Yeah, so there was some data um, back in 2020 that showed um, there may be a benefit for patients who um, had a out of hospital cardiac arrest and, and um, you know, would benefit from ECMO. Um, but, but the data um, on uh, in hospital cardiac arrest was less clear. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to um, do this study um, and we used a large uh, nationwide readmissions database um, with uh, over uh, 4,000 patients um, to sort of see if there was any benefit for patients with in-hospital cardiac arrest and to also see if, if our findings sort of aligned with um, previous studies showing some benefit for patients who had suffered an arrest outside of the hospital. And in terms of those patient subgroups, could you go a little bit deeper on why you pick specifically in hospital versus out of hospital? Right. So um, the the location of the arrest um, seems to have a, a um, an impact on whether patients would benefit from ECMO. Presumably, patients who are in the hospital are sicker with more, more com comorbidities. You know, they may already be in in multi organ failure um, prior to the arrest. Um, whereas patients um, who are outside of the hospital typically have sort of a single catastrophic event that may lead to the arrest um, and, and don't have this, um, you know, generalized decline. And so um, it's important to sort of compare these two groups um, to see if there is a, a benefit for um, ECMO uh, in, in one group or the other. And we found that there, you know, actually is um, a benefit in patients who have uh, uh, cardiac arrest outside of the hospital and you know hopefully this sort of leads to having systems in place like early ECMO activation, early cath lab activation um, so that when the patient is on the way to the hospital um, with CPR ongoing um, these interventions can happen sooner. And in terms of the study broadly could you give us one big takeaway that you saw and that you'd like for everyone to know? Yeah, so the, the big takeaway would be that there is a benefit for ECMO plus CPR in patients who suffer out of hospital cardiac arrest. Um, and um, the other thing is that um, there really just needs to be more data on um, appropriate patient selection, um, particularly for patients who suffer cardiac arrest in hospital to see if they would benefit from um, ECMO and, and CPR. Well, Roshan, thank you so much for giving us all that background in the study. Before we go, what's one message you'd like to get out to your internal medicine colleagues? Um, that's a good one. Thanks, Vic. Uh, I think the biggest thing is that, you know, if, if you're passionate um, about research or you're passionate about a, uh, a specific area of study, um, it's never uh, too late to start um, doing research in that space. There's a lot of great mentors that you'll meet um, at different conferences. Um, I've been fortunate to work with people who um, are not from institutions that I've been at and, and the mentorship has been great. So people are always looking to take on mentees and I think um, research is a great way to show that you're, you're passionate about something. Wonderful. Thank you for that message, Dr. Roshan. And thank you for all of your time. I've been Victor. This is Cardiac Wire. Bye. Thanks.